Welcome to the Golden Gate Gaming Podcast, week number 20. We made it to 20. It's God, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty incredible. This week we have a new face. I'm joined by uh, James, friend of Cassidy and Patrick. Hi. And, well, not friend of Patrick. No. Patrick just met him, <laughs> but yes. whatever. He doesn't have friends. <laughs> I have friends. I went to see Guardians last today actually that's where i came from last today oh my god <laughs> i am on time traveler yes yes i am i am totally allergies are killing me right now it's yes horrible. allergies suck oh man yeah there's a uh, not a ton that's happened this week other than uh a few games you know also the fact that you know may the fourth came yeah and went uh, there's a couple of things that happened right after we recorded last week <laughs> Quite a few, yeah, a few things. It was uh, like on we were on Sunday and on Monday, a bunch of announcements came out. And it was like, yeah, God oh, damn it. Then there was a whole bunch of bullshit crap. Oh, I forgot to. So yeah. I'm gonna. I think we should start off with a gripe. I yeah. have I have a gripe. Right you now. have a gripe. I have a little bit of a gripe. Okay. How dumb are people asking <laughs> for a godforsaken FPS counter on the goddamn Xbox or on the Scorpio? <laughs> like, I. I don't care. I don't want my console tracking this. It's ba wasted. <laughs> it's wasted space for other shit. Background on this: uh, the dev console for the for Scorpio has a little OLED screen on the front that shows various information, like you know, amount of RAM usage and stuff like that. One of the things it can show is an FPS counter. Yeah. And so some people heard about that and were like, they should keep that on the real one. <laughs> it's like, no, no, they shouldn't. Yeah. Kinda no, useless. it's. <laughs> Uh, it's it is useless for a, a commercially available unit. It's perfectly fine for you know a developer to it's, use it. It's something that a developer needs. Yes, because they need to track how well their game performs. If they see it drops like thirty FPS, they're like, we need to fix this. We're, yeah. What's going on? Um, but if like say me as a normal consumer, <laughs> I see it drop to below thirty, it's like, well, this game sucks. I'm not gonna play it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm still gonna play it regardless. If it drops, it drops. It could be just a glitch. It could be my console. Overheating like hell. Who goddamn knows? I use an FPS counter to like benchmark things on PC and like, you know, make sure my settings are working correctly and make sure I yeah. don't need to lower stuff. But that stuff isn't on Xbox. It's yeah. a console. It just yeah. it plays. With um with some of the games I use or play like Overwatch, I have uh, the Razer Cortex actually has an FPS counter. It Mac it optimizes your computer to run the game properly and optimizes. <laughs> it, it does it it does things. I don't know what it does, but it does things. And I run it at a steady like seventy two frames per second, and it's perfectly fine for me. I notice not a lot of crap. I'm like, cool, seventy two frames. That's great on a TV screen for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not playing competitive. Once I get the new monitor I intend to get, then I might actually care. But now I don't. I really don't. Yeah, who gives a shit? Who it doesn't it doesn't matter. I just don't understand why people like consumer people want an FPS counter. It's like. I don't care. I'm a consumer. I don't care about this junk. <laughs> I mean, some people care, but it, it's just unnecessary. And also, like, having it on the console. <laughs> yeah, so who's going to steer it? plays for it's a like, consumer. Who's going to steer their console? Like, I'm dropping below 20. I'm at 20 frames <laughs> like, per second. Hold up. Time out. It's under Nate. Hold up. Uh, it's like, hold on. Right now. <laughs> gotta, you guys all got to stop. Also, what average consumer has their Xbox close enough for them while they're playing that they can read text that's this small? Uh, I have my PS4 like literally this But that's far at your away. desk. True. That is my Most desk. console players have it like under their TV and they're across the room from it. Yeah, You're but... really going to be able to read that tiny little text from across the room? You never know. Some dumbass <laughs> idiot is going to have a pair of binoculars off on their couch. <laughs> like, is my, what's my FPS at? God damn it's at 20. What the hell is going on with this game? Like if they decide that an FPS counter is something that they need to implement, it should be an overlay. Yeah, like like, like how PC. like on PC because yeah. that's the way that works. And there's there's some people that have the like all the information like all over the place. I hate that to be honest. <laughs> Distracts from the game. Yeah, like the Cortex thing is actually just a little tiny bubble, like a half circle on my top right corner or top left corner, and it's just like, oh okay, and then just keep on going. That's still too much for me because I play games that are more story based and not you know. Oh, yeah. I'm not trying to count frames in, in Counter Strike to make sure that I I'm getting all the frames so I can have the perfect reaction time and. I get it, I know I'm playing like Mass Effect or yeah. you know Prey, the new one. Like I want to immerse myself in the story. Oh, yeah, no, no, I don't. I'll... I don't want to have. It's distracting. Yeah, I you don't want to have this text on the side of my set screen. The settings for that to be like, okay, let's shut this off. Yeah, now. yeah. I, uh, Nvidia also does that. 
Yeah, they do, and uh, that it sucks. It does. It's not working at least properly every time I load up on Windows 10, <laughs> it, at least right now until I swap out the internals. But it just it crashes a good chunk of time. That's why I'm just like, shut up for now. Well, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Should we complain about <laughs> Nintendo some more? I'm I mean, we're in the complaint. We're in the complaining point. Yeah, let's complain more. I love complaining about Nintendo. All right, complaining. <laughs> so, which part of the Nintendo do you want to complain first? Uh, probably just the they put out a little thing saying that, oh yeah, we've been shipping consoles via plane to meet demand, and it's because it's faster to go by plane and it's so yeah. expensive. Oh, you know. But those pay- consoles are being bundled <laughs> together with games and stuff, which apparently it turns out a lot of people do not want to get it as a bundle. They just want the console alone. Yeah, most people just want the console. But yeah, it's just hilarious to see like that damage control. Like, like we're trying. We're shipping them by plane even. We're spending a lot of money trying to get these switches to you as fast as to possible. Be, to be fair, they usually ship them by boat. Yeah, no, I, I'm not saying that it's not expensive to ship by plane. It's just that like using expensive. using that as the example, it's just like... Yeah, no, it's actually it's more expensive to do by plane than by boat. Yeah, it's way more expensive. Yeah. Cause... The boats, they can, you know, sh- s- pile them so high with tons of stuff. Yeah, except when they start sinking in our bay, like that one cargo container, <laughs> dear God. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's... I, I, I'm I shocked that people are so... In de- well, granted, they also released, like, a limited number in the beginning, and they're like... They're causing their own demand for the supply because it's like, hey, we want to switch. We want to switch. It's like, all right, here, here, here. It's coming. It's coming. Don't worry. It's like freaking, uh, what's it called? Um, What's that guy's name from, who does Game of Thrones? Uh, George R. R. Martin. Oh. <laughs> the, jo- the constant joke in South Park where it's like, it's coming. It's coming. Where are the dragons? It's coming. It's coming. It's like, oh, my God. Just, yeah. No, it's... <laughs> I I'm waiting for a sale for yeah. the Switch. To be yeah. honest, there'll be switches eventually. I'll get one for cheap when it, when they're on sale because I don't think three hundred is the right price for that console. I, I say, well, it would be it three hundred would be the right price if it came with like say Mario Kart and also oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh what uh, what's uh, I make, think if, if it came with the Pro Controller three hundred would be okay. If it came with oh, I'm sure by Black but, Friday there's gonna be a bundle. seventy dollars extra for that Pro Controller just. Yeah. yeah, I'm not paying four hundred dollars for a switch. I, I'm willing to pay three hundred dollars for a switch. Or a even like three fifty would be fine, to be honest. Like, cause, that, cause then I, it, at least that would be a little bit better, cause it'll come with a game, it'll come with the Joy Cons. That's, that's still a hundred dollars over a PS4. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, no, it's only a. Well, yeah. PS4s are generally two fifty now. Oh uh, yeah. There is <laughs> well, they always drop the price on those like crazy. So I saw a PS4 for two hundred the other day. I was just like, what? Jesus Christ! We're, okay, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was that wasn't a sale. That was that was not like a normal price two hundred. But right, because yeah. usually <laughs> usually they run it around. Um, I think three hundred is the sticker price. Three hundred sticker They're price. They're generally like two fifty in most places, and then sometimes they'll go on super sale to two hundred. Yeah. So. Oh my god! <laughs> and then also, we're two months into the lifespan of the Switch, and we have no information on um, online. Oh, online play and virtual console? Or virtual console. They have said they're going to charge for online. They have said... Which is fine. That's yeah. what the PlayStation and Xbox do anyways. They have said that with that charge for online, you will get uh, one SNES or NES game. I think they might... Have, I don't remember if they had other consoles as well. Uh, they get one of those games for the month uh, with added ooh. online something. Uh huh. Um, probably leaderboards. I don't. I don't. I don't see much. I don't see most oh, of those wait, games would have like I verses heard, or anything like that. Right. I think I remember hearing about this that you can only play it for that month yes. that it's available, and then it's gone out of your library. And it or, goes away. It's a rental for a month for free. Which is total, to me, honestly, total bullshit. But they haven't done anything more than that. They haven't set a price. They haven't said it's coming. Oh, they said it was coming fall. Okay. I think I said. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, if they said if they set the pricing, if they do fifty dollars a year, that's fine. I mean, I pay over. I pay like fifty for both or for each of my other consoles. Yeah, I think the rumor was five bucks a month, which is pretty good. That's okay, that, that's sixty bucks. So that's about the same price point as the Xbox Live. Yeah. So that's not too bad. Well, except Xbox Live is eight bucks a month, okay. and then you can buy it in a year for. Oh. 
60 which is generally discounted to 50 if yeah. you're smart about it and you can sometimes get it for 40 or 30 or <laughs> you can get really great discounts on it but i think xbox live is eight bucks a month oh if you're just paying it might be 10 bucks a month even i think it's ten dollars a month for a monthly subscription um yeah i was yeah um but i mean yeah but five bucks to... a month is a pretty decent price it'll probably be discounted you know like 40 or 30 a year if you buy a full year yeah. i don't know who knows they haven't said anything and they also haven't said when virtual console is coming which i uh, in the thing i was reading i don't know where it is anymore um <laughs> it's dead to me uh the wii announced the virtual console or out of the virtual console a month in i believe of its lifespan yeah and the okay. wii u added a month and a half in uh-huh and uh, two months in, we haven't gotten anything for it. <laughs> we, I don't know. Well, they have, you can buy like old school games like um, Metal Slug and all those type of games on it. It's just on the Switch. Yeah, my friend, we played Metal Slug on it before. They released the Metal Slug. Yeah, but that's not a virtual console. Oh, that's true. like a remaster Ver- collection thing. Right, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> they released a Metal Slug game for the Switch. I think it might have been just an easy... It's an easy port. It's an yeah. old, like... But it's like arcade. an actual release for the Switch. Yeah. It's not just throwing an NES game on there. Pretty much. Which is what Virtual Console is. Yeah, true. Yeah. So that was kind of like... Eh. I hope I hope they get some info soon about that. Hopefully. Because that would be uh, another thing that was like, oh, cool, they've got that... You know, I'll be able to get it and be able to play all these cool games on the go again instead of having to set up my whole uh, <laughs> emulator and controller system that I had set up on my, on my phone a while ago. Yeah. And then the last Nintendo thing is Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Expansion Pass 1 came out. Oh, did it finally? Or an announced came out. I don't remember. I, th- I don't think it's out yet. Uh, lovely. I don't. I don't really care because I'm not going to pay twenty bucks until I see something that's actually worth twenty bucks. Because you can't buy the different parts one by one, and you have to buy the whole thing for twenty bucks. You just wait a bit cheaper, anyways. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do a sale like they usually do with their. It's pass. Nintendo. They don't oh, do right. that. Forget. <laughs> Nintendo does not sell. It'll be twenty dollars until the end of time. Yeah, true. It'll be twenty dollars for the goddamn. Oh, uh, remember how we were talking about a while back? The certain games were not lo- like down in price at all. Yeah. I was in a GameStop in San Francisco recently, and I saw, I think it was Melee for the Wii U, um, and it was like. I mean Smash Eight, whatever. <laughs> Melee is it, GameCube. <laughs> okay, well no, I actually it was a Super. It was a Game. It was the GameCube game. Um, it was sixty dollars for the GameCube version. I'm like, why? Why the hell are you selling it for sixty bucks? They didn't. Uh, I'm, I don't I'm know. Not. It was just some like random Nintendo games that I thought would have dropped in price because they're on console units that are no longer readily easily available unless you yeah. go to like mom and pop old school game stores. <laughs> They're selling for like ridiculous amounts, and I'm just like, why are you doing this? Nintendo, it's fucking weird. Maybe. Um. No, I didn't plug in my. Yeah, plug in my computer. It's gonna die. Yeah, that would help. Um, um. So the things that are in the Breath of the Wild pack, you get the Trial of the Sword. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Uh, you get to a certain sacred location, and you can take on a new Trial of the Sword challenge. AKA like a dungeon. You face you face waves of enemies oh, one after so another. It's a, uh... You st- you start without any equipment, uh, it, so it takes away all your equipment. You start just with nothing. You face waves and waves, and um, after you you know beat enemies, you pick stuff up and you get equipped and you go to the next room. And if you clear all the trials, uh, forty five rooms in total, uh, then the power of the master sword will be awakened and will always be in its glowing, powered up state while usable. So you just get a glowing sword. Yeah. Um, then they added Hero's Path mode, which you activate on your map, and it shows you a little little glowing line of everywhere that you've walked in the past 200 hours of gameplay. Bless you. Sorry. And they added Hard mode, which is a very disappointing version of Hard mode. Wait, okay. I had to go back on that path thing. Yeah. <laughs> How many people actually have gone past 200 hours? I mean, I'm a sure lot. there's been plenty. Like, because that doesn't... I would get annoyed by seeing, like, oh, hey, I when did I walk through here? I don't remember this. Like, you know, 40 hours ago. It's like... I mean, it helps to show where you've been and where you need to go. 
It's a, that's actually a pretty helpful feature, but it's not really yeah. a big deal. Uh, then the hard mode is very disappointing. It literally just enemies gradually re- regain health, okay. and then all enemies are powered up by one level. So like <laughs> the red bokoblins are turn into blue bokoblins, um, and they can go up and uh, to higher maximum levels than they would be normally in normal. And it's like, that's really disappointing. That's not really a hard mode. That's just making these enemies be more bullet spongy. <laughs> yeah. and, so hard. So and hard. It's so difficult. In a so game that has that, does a, that re- to me, extremely obnoxious uh, durability system for weapons, right. it's going to mean you're just hitting them more and breaking more and more weapons on them. It's just, oh. Yeah. It, little... They could have done so much cooler stuff with a hard mode. But, oh well. That's what they gave us. <laughs> and there's a couple new uh, outfits. Majora's Mask, Midna's Helmet, Phantom Armor, Tingle's Outfit. Tangled? Tingle. Oh, I was about to say Tangled. They're putting in no. a Disney stuff in there now? Hell yeah. Give you a, the Korok yeah. Mask. It's going to be Rapunzel. <laughs> I, I don't know what Tangled <laughs> tingle is. Tingle Outfit. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, that would look awkward and weird, I guess. <laughs> um, but okay, so 20 bucks for the damn thing. Well, that, that's the first half of the $20 DLC. Oh, that's the first half. They said the first half will be small things like this. The second half will be some story stuff. Oh, well, so okay. We'll get a story DLC eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but Monday. for now, your twenty dollars gets you all that. Huh. Plus, also a uh, shirt in the game. Ooh. Uh, that I was, was about to say if they give you an actual shirt, like no. a physical shirt, then <laughs> that would be a little bit different. When you bought the expansion pass, it puts a chest somewhere in the world that has a shirt that says Switch on it. You have to Switch find logo. the stupid thing then? All this stuff you have to find. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Ugh. Yeah. That's it's the whole like point the, of the game. You the, gotta they, find stuff. They don't give you a map or anything. <laughs> they do give you a map, just they don't show you where it is on the map. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of Zelda is explore, exploration. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just gonna say, oh, pay money and here's all this stuff. They already they already do that enough with the amiibos. Yeah. You true. buy amiibos and it just gives you stuff. Yeah, that's true. Um I have to I see so there's a few other options that we can go here. I actually need a gripe again about Overwatch. <laughs> One, earlier this week they fucked up and had a glitch in the system where the loot crates to sit for the um, uprising event yeah. went away early, like way before they should have, and they apologized. Overwatch apo- or Blizzard apologized for it and said, "We reinstated the loot boxes to where you can get the loot boxes still either by purchasing them or by er- earning them, which is fine for one extra day." Apparently, that one extra day was until four o'clock that day, which pissed me off, but I didn't realize that. Um, and they gave it time with it. Did they? <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Re- they, they said it'll be available until whatever okay. time it was. Oh, I, th- I thought it was five, but I thought it said four o'clock. Okay. Or it went off by four o'clock when I looked. So. Um, Might have been three. I, I don't. Know. I don't remember being. Four. I thought it was a like an odd number, not a. Yeah. But, but whatever. They're, they're gonna read. <laughs> they, they gave it time. <laughs> yeah, but because of those that glitch, they apologized to a lot of the, everybody, and they said we're gonna re- redo the uprising event later on this year again, just so that. If you didn't get the skins, that you will be able to get the skins. Because I only got... Maybe I'll be playing it again by then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got. I know I got the Torbjorn skin twice. Um, I got uh, Genji's um, Black Watch skin, which I actually wanted to get. I didn't get Black Widows because I really wanted Black Widows. Or any of the Uprising uh, characters like Ryan or Mercy or Tracer or Torbjorn. Even though... Uh, technically, Torbjorn's skin was the stupid... Stupid thing, and um, yeah, and I should have warned her about the camera. Uh, oh, well. oh well, it's black screen, black screen. Um, but yeah, um, and then what was the other thing that recently happened? Apparently, there was a glitch, at least what me and a bunch of other people were experiencing was the graphic, a graphics glitch where. <laughs> Don't act too surprised. <laughs> it's it's where certain like the frame rate would randomly drop, um, and would cause you think you would be like right there, but then all of a sudden the enemy's like over here out of nowhere. You're like, I was shooting. What? Why are you over there? All of a sudden it was a random ping error, and then I was getting a graphics glitch where soldier was firing his gun, but I wasn't holding the trigger button, and it was just like makes makes no sense whatsoever at all. 
And, it happens. Uh, yes, I, I know it happens. <laughs> um, but then what's with this giveaway thing? So this is this, this is, is less about Overwatch itself, more about an Overwatch uh, YouTuber. Oh, okay. Uh, by the name of... Go, oh. go, around. <laughs> go around. There's a camera right there. Oh, you didn't tell me. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't when you walked right in front of it. It's like the... <laughs> She's so precious. You you already knew this. <laughs> I'll take five. <laughs> Please leave that in there. Oh whatever. Um. Anyways, what's that YouTuber's name? <laughs> Uh, what's that YouTuber's name that you're trying to find? <laughs> His name. No, it wasn't for me. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I get I get one thing about the camera and it's like, oh my god. Um, Why well, is everyone in this house adorable? <laughs> I to- I'm the only insane jackass of the entire household here, so I don't know. know. <laughs> they both admit it. They will both say I'm an asshole sometimes, most of the time. So okay. So. <laughs> Anyways, off that tangent. This uh, uh, YouTuber named O Nickel. O Nickel. Yes. O Nickel, my nickel. <laughs> hey, at least it's better than a it's, few other YouTuber names that I've heard where it's an annoying as hell. Bodie McBook face. Okay, um, I want that boat. He ran. He ran. An, he ran, he ran a giveaway. Uh huh. For couple steam gift cards or something like that can't remember exactly what it was okay and you know did the whole get a giveaway gave away the stuff uh-huh. and a guy yesterday uh posted on reddit uh-huh. saying i won this giveaway and i didn't get my gift card this guy is terrible he's doing bad stuff and <laughs> wrote this whole thing and uh <laughs> that's uh, why i don't ever try to even bother with youtuber giveaways but Oh, go on. Um, <laughs> this guy was not that person. He was impersonating the person that actually won the giveaway. Oh, lovely. Uh, O'Nickel actually did give away the stuff. He sent off the stuff. The two people that got the cards, the cards. Were, were very happy. Right. This guy has just been going around Reddit, I guess. and So he's being a troll. Yeah, he's, he's finding uh, people that win giveaways and post like on Twitter and seeing if they have a Reddit account. And if they don't have a Reddit account, he'll make a Reddit account and claim that they're them and that they didn't receive their giveaway. And, it's just like, and this oh, is why God. half the time I can never browse Reddit because it's all bullshit trolls. But it got it got removed within a few hours, actually. The, uh, the mods like contacted the person on Twitter after someone said, like, this doesn't seem like quite right. And so the mods con- it's like, contacted is this the guy you? on Twitter. It's like, no, I don't yeah. use Reddit. The guy's like, like, no, okay, that's cool. not me. And so they removed the thing and put up a post. And then yeah. O'Nickel released a video saying, this was bullshit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a, little, oh. a little bit of a longer video than just that. <laughs> like 10 minute oh. video or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, it sucks that just, like, he's trying to be nice to his audience and give away some stuff back to his audience who's, you know, supporting him. And then, right. He does this nice thing, and then this person just goes and fucks it all up and... Tries to make make the YouTuber look like an asshole. Yeah, and he was having a bunch of subscriber loss, too, from that. Oh. Like, oh. you could see, like, the drop... In, it's, it's so sad I, when I they will, just I, I can go fuck into, people over for no reason. <laughs> I can go into subscriber loss real quick on one uh, top... Oh, ra- God. A little, it is related to YouTube. It is related <laughs> to kind of to kind of internet news-ish. So, everyone... Uh, it's been about five or so weeks We lo- that source, eh, source fed source fed nerd and people be like got cancelled do any of you guys know that it now turned got turned into now this yeah I thought th- I thought I had heard that they announced that like when source fed got closed down that they were going to uh, be changing it I <laughs> like no. I remember hearing that they were going to be merging the two channels I don't I don't <laughs> honestly know but the source fed nerd they turned it now into now this nerd yeah and the one unlucky guy that got had to make the video to announce this. So far, that video has about forty-two ish thousand dislikes. Yeah. And um, the old hosts of that show, i.e., if you very famous personalities like um, what's it called, Meg Turney, Raina Scully, were not really happy because one, now this nerd had over a million subscriber counts. And then the moment now this nerd came about and they made the announcement like, we're going to be making the same content that SourceFed nerd did just now. We're now this nerd. It's like, you 
you're using you're already you're you you're given a million subscriber base already and you fired practically pretty much everybody that was part of the source fit team and put your own people in because discovery nine is owned by a discovery channel if i remember right yeah um so they decided to just say yeah you're all fired we're gonna put our own people in and make our own content and all that and then when i looked at the subscriber count re uh like a day after i saw that video it dropped almost a hundred thousand subscribers <laughs> like it went from one million below like almost the nine hundred thousand instantly or like within 24 hours i was just like damn okay that seems like a waste of energy i found i found what it was it was that i assumed it was going to happen but they didn't announce it was happening they announced uh when when they shut down source fed uh they announced they were also shutting down uh people be like yeah that's what i, um, I did mention that and be like man <laughs> And uh, Seeker Daily as well. Right, I remember. And they were turning Seeker Daily into... They were uh, putting now this news into Seeker Daily. Right. Bas basically, Discovery was consolidating all their channels and turning them all under the same uh, branding of now this. Right, which is more or less kind of like a news-ish organization. Yeah, so it didn't surprise me at all that they did this. I don't, maybe didn't... that's why it didn't hit me as hard. Right. Because it was just like... Yeah, that's of course that's what we're, that, they're gonna that, do. That's, like it's, that's it's shitty. It's shitty, but it's it, I'm like it's shitty to people that worked there and got fired. But it's what they were they were consolidating under this no single I, brand. I totally agree with you. It's it, they it, consolidated it, but the thing is like they had the talent already there. Unless they have their own talent, which they they have their own talent. They're they're turning now this into this multifaceted thing. They're yeah. getting into other things. They should have just started from the ground up. They should have, but um. They really should have. They had they had the channel. They own the channel, so yeah. they might as well use it. Yeah. In their point of view, and it's just like. But yeah, no. <laughs> the they, I think the real thing that hurt them was they should have explained more. E, they should. They should have put out an official explanation before it happened, saying we are combining our channels. We are consolidating. Source fed nerd will become now this nerd. Uh, Secret daily is becoming now this news. Right. This is becoming this, and saying like we're consolidating this stuff. We're making a unified branding for all of our channels and it will you'll be seeing some new faces we're using the same production crew behind all of them right. you know say more stuff like that instead of just being like oh everyone you loved is fired now it's a new channel now it has a new name and has new people on speaking it speaking of which about the <laughs> you're gonna love this so because they made that announcement video and all that some very unhappy people decided to you know kind of go on twitter and take the now this nerd <sighs> tag yeah. So I can't believe they didn't fucking yeah like reserve that tag. It's it's so funny. That, that's ridiculous. So like it's now this ner like there's a few now this nerds that all are taken by other users and they're all talking shit about now this nerd. And Jesus it's, Christ! It, like it's so funny how like you make this announcement video, but yet you guys didn't bother to take the tags for you know Instagram, Twitter. All of those social media accounts to the point where it's like you own those accounts. Now you have to deal with like either forcing Twitter to cancel those accounts so you can get the tag or so buying dumb. the account. <laughs> which you at this point, honestly, I've seen people buy accounts for fifty thousand dollars just yeah. because they want that specific tag for their name. And I guarantee you, they're probably gonna they're probably gonna try to find some legal loophole like we made this channel, this is our name, but they're whatever blah 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 squatting on a name is actually not allowed oh really <laughs> yeah they actually can sue you and get the name from you if you're well, then, saying like pay me five hundred thousand dollars or else i'll give to well, give this well it's not squatting if you keep the act the account active though right it is if someone has a uh trademarked or caught what is it, trademarked for that type i think of thing. it's trademarked yeah uh if they have a trademarked channel name and you're squatting on the Oh, on the, yeah. it's usually used for websites. Like if you registered nowthisnerd.com. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're like, we'll give this URL to you for you know a hundred thousand dollars. They're like, no. Like <laughs> like if they offered like, we'll we'll pay you like you know five thousand dollars for that. And you're like, no, I want fifty thousand dollars. Then they would just take you to court and get it taken from you. Huh. I thought that would. I thought that's like the art of negotiation, though. Technically, it's like, oh, you want to offer me five thousand? Here's my counter offer. <laughs> See if you take it. I mean, it's up to the company how you know how they want to go about it. But they do have that. It's not yours if you are, you know, 
Especially if you are using it to impersonate them. Like if you are oh, no, pretending they're, you're them. They're not using it to impersonate well, them. Yeah, but <laughs> like that that's another step forward. Like people will do that in a person. It's, it, there's, it, there's layers to it, but there right. is legal like... Uh, Precedent. It had precedent, yes. Oh. That's the word. There is legal precedent for people being dicks holding on to a URL and it being taken from them. Yeah. That's why... Forcefully. It, yeah. That's why I was like, people fucking suck. Yeah, people do fucking suck when it comes to certain shit like that. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Jesus. So, out of all of us here, who actually has VR? I do. <laughs> You're the only one I think yeah. that has a VR uh, my, unit. My boyfriend has the Samsung one. I've got that one too. It's great. It's great. It's fun. Me. It's gonna be so good for my plane flight. I'm so excited <laughs> for that. I'm gonna put on my uh, my noise canceling. You're gonna look so stupid. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I, I so wish I was, I so wish to just to be on the plane with you and record like this is Riley looking re- ridiculously stupid on the plane to Texas, like, like looking like weirdo, looking all around. Like I'm gonna be looking all it's around. It's gonna be really funny when the plane turns and you're like shit. Fuck. <laughs> well, it's. I'm going to have my noise canceling headphones on. Uh huh. Be completely. And then have the headset on. And then just. It'll Are be you going to sit down and watch a movie? Yeah. It'll be. Oh, okay. I'll have my own private movie theater. Oh, yeah. I remember I played with that at the yeah. PlayStation experience. And it's just. I'm going to be in a mov- sitting in a movie theater on the plane with my noise canceling <laughs> headphones blocking out everything else. And it's going to be fantastic. Uh, <laughs> so much nicer than sitting in a cramped fucking plane. Show me that guy just be like, ah. Uh, yeah. then, like, I'll, I'll put like my arm on the guy's head next to me. <laughs> it's like you are my armrest now. <laughs> um, but oh god, like uh, you're flying uh, mid afternoon or morning on that day to Texas? Uh, morning on Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday? Oh yeah. Wednesday? Oh Tuesday. no, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday. Why are you leaving so early? Because I'm staying there for a week. Wednesday to Wednesday. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm leaving Wednesday night, getting there Thursday morning because of the weird, stupid time change and flight bullshit. I, I love the time change with flights because, like, I'm leaving at like 10 a.m. and then getting there at like 4 p.m. But then on the way back, I'm like leaving at like 4 p.m. and getting back at like 4:30. Yeah, <laughs> oh, like, trust me, it's worse. Ah. It's so much worse. It's way worse when you're flying clear across the other side of the country. Oh no, the, I've, like, I've done that. Globe, because when I left from my where my family's from. I left at four, two something in the after, no, four something in the afternoon. I and it's a seventeen-ish hour flight back to California, right? I left on a Tuesday, at uh, four in the afternoon. I got back on the same Tuesday at ten in the freaking morning. Yeah. I didn't sleep the entire flight. I hated my life. <laughs> I wanted to pass out and die. I had a friend uh, uh, went on a tour to. Uh, New Zealand and oh, yeah. the flight back was yeah. on his birthday. Oh, so it, it, it turned over to his birthday twice. <laughs> like, oh, it, I would have totally if that happened to me, I'd be like, party on the plane. Two and birthdays. Get, get <laughs> back home. It's like party. <laughs> like it being his birthday, and we had like a layover in Miami, and we got like to Miami at like 11 p.m. or something, uh-huh. and it turned over to midnight again in Miami. It was like, oh Jesus, <laughs> it was fantastic. Oh my God, we're uh. leaving Thursday at 6:30 in the morning and getting there at 12. Oh. Yeah, I. I I had the option to leave at like 6 a.m. and I was like, fuck that. <laughs> well, my friend, my friend was like, I gotta find the cheapest, the cheapest flight ever. And she finds one and she didn't really look at the times of the layover. Your friend is smart. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, she didn't do it. She's like, how about this flight? And I looked at it. It was, it would get there about five in the, in the afternoon, in the evening. Uh-huh. And the layover was about 12 hours. What? So by the time we got Jesus to Austin, wait, 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 wait. it would be Friday afternoon. I'm like, well, there's all of her. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it was like 8 to 12 hours. Where is the layover at? I think it was... LA probably or Arizona? No, I think it was Salt Lake City. Okay, oh, that, that's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, wait. Okay. No, I well, was like, we're not doing that. Are you leaving from San Francisco or San Jose? Uh, San Jose, and then we're flying into Oakland. When we come back, that is it's cheaper. Okay. That is retarded. But okay, um, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in the middle of both of them. You're, ah, yeah, you're true. Like, so for I'm me, flying out and back into SFO. Yeah, same here. We're we're flying at like near midnight, which we caught a we caught a red light or red. Red, red eye. Red eye. There we go. Because <laughs> I didn't want to miss work, and, yeah. but also because of our unfortunate. Because we're it's me, Leia, and um, her sister coming, so we're all traveling to Texas, and then um, 
what is it? We're flying red eye, getting there Thursday morning, and then oh God, it's it's so horrifying. Where because ne- I'll try, I'm gonna try to sleep as much as possible, but hotel check-in isn't until I think like two in the afternoon, which yeah. kind of sucks. So, um, but hey, we have a whole day on Thursday to enjoy, you know, Austin and enjoy the food. And wait, so when are you getting in? We get in six in the morning <laughs> on Thursday. Should come Jesus hang out Christ. at Franklin with me. I uh, how far Where is that? Where are you staying? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm staying at an Airbnb like a block from the oh, convention nice. center. Oh, you're oh, okay. We're about six blocks away down the street at the uh, at a hotel. Yeah, I'm literally closer than the Marriott. Oh wow! Last, last is that how, year. there's actually houses nearby the convention center. Yeah. Wow. I'm like in be- I'm in between the Marriott and the convention center. Jesus! Oh nice! Christ. Last year we we were at the um, Hyatt Home. That's like right between the two. And so we would party at the Marriott because my friends stay there because there's like six of them in a room. Okay. So they all stay there. And so we partied them and then we all took our drunk asses home. We we're like, we're fine. We're just across the street. Like, it was all good. But yeah. now we're at the Hyatt house, which is. Oh, I think I'm staying at that same hotel. Yeah. It's the, it's has, it's like an apartment kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And it's right next to 6th Street. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's, it's not that far. That's a good place. It's literally yeah. not that far. I like Sixth Street. Yeah, uh, I'm just excited for like the food and the barbecue and every, every, everything. Yeah, Franklin is not <laughs> too ridiculously far, but it's food. fucking good. It's so good. Best barbecue I've ever had. Yeah, uh, that's the one thing I intend to do is barbecue. Yeah, definitely. I, Anyways, you're gonna be waiting in line for like three hours. All right, be, that's the one that you yeah should came out, come hang out and wait in line. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, back to the off tangent, or back True. to back to, back to, back to <laughs> off, off the tangent, um, off the tangent, back to VR. Um, Thumper, yes. Thumper. It's a game that came out for PSVR a few months ago. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It just came out for Oculus like oh. a week ago or something like that. Okay. And I played it, and it's so fucking good. Is that the blind one? No, it's it's oh, a music okay. one. It's oh, like oh okay. They. Ta- <sighs> It's like a, I think they say it's a violent music experience or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I played it at the PlayStation experience, if I remember right. It was one of the few, like, demo games that they allowed me to play. And there's a moth Demon. flying around. Back to <laughs> VR. Thumper, yeah, it's a, it's a Keep really... Keep this in. Yeah. It's a really fun game. It's a it's it's music based. I it's, remember it's right. rhythm violence. Is that yes. what they say? Ooh. Yeah, because like when I played a PlayStation Experience, like you literally had the headset on you and you had the controller in your hand and you hold like one button and you just look around and, and that's your targeting system. Like you're just like no, you know. that's uh, that's Res. Oh fuck yeah. Thumper is you you. There's like a track and you're uh-huh. like this little beetle on the yeah. track, and you have to like bounce and fly and swerve and stuff oh. along with the music and it's super intense the music okay. is fantastic that's interesting and like i play it for like half an hour and then i get out and i'm just like my heart's racing it's like <laughs> oh my god it's so intense damn it's, um it's a lot of fun when is the when is that um there's another game that i that you talked about that you shared the article for uh, that's the echo. Like you act as a blind person, and you have like oh, the yeah. echo location ability. I don't know when that's. That's later. I I do remember that was one of the few games that I kind of was excited for because it was going to be available across all um, VR it's, systems. It's last one there, not. <laughs> Work though, you're just like standing in your room and you're just like, okay, there's a chair there. (laughs) It it just, yeah, it's. (laughs) I am I'm so ready to get my kitchen back. I really want it back so bad. But we're still we finished. We're almost done with the hard floors. Who needs a kitchen? I haven't used the kitchen in months. I haven't had a kitchen in over a month and a half, and I want to cook decent food. Um. Anyways, but yeah, VR. <laughs> exactly. Ah, uh, VR. I want. I still can't decide what VR system I want. I. I don't. Well, once you get your computer built up, I'll bring my Oculus over. You can try it out. Okay. Try out with actual VR games and with not actual VR games, not ones that had VR short shoehorned in them to right, sell right. them. Did you ever get to play that um Robinson's Journey on the PSVR? I don't have PSVR. Ugh. He's got Oculus. Oh, JK yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I haven't heard of it. It's like something where it's like you're an astronaut, and you go to like some deserted planet, and then you like 
get a pet dinosaur and you just like go around doing like cool kid things <laughs> that's interesting there's some games like that on oculus yeah there's uh there's oh, they're it called it's one of the demo games is you go outside. like this <laughs> you go to this like alien planet and you're like cataloging stuff and like observing oh and researching speaking of, speaking of alien, it's pretty cool speaking of alien planet there was a game i recently saw a video for um it was on sale it's on sale i think right now on the uh, steam store it's it's a it's an astronaut game where there you play up to five players <laughs> it's similar to like this one other game where um, it's like a, kind of a similar Star trek feel. You're exp- you have... Is it Pulsar? Is it Artemis? Is Pulsar, it... I think. Okay, Pulsar. Yeah. yeah. I saw it, I'm like... It Pulsar's is, pretty fun. It looks like, it looked fun. I'm like, this would be a fun game to get five people on. Especially, like, you have a captain, the engineer, Played the it a couple pilot. of times. The captain. Unless they... Unless they've... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'm the captain now. <laughs> We're not going back into that love space-time... Cr- oh, my God. That was a... Um, but, yeah, Pulsar's pretty fun. Unless they've added a lot of stuff since I played it, which they probably have since it was early access. Yeah, they've um, added quite a... Well, at least it, from what I saw, they added, like, you can... Sh- it's shipped to ship battles exploration like cool. literally like if your ship is blowing up or you have damn or your core your war core is about to explode you literally have an engineer running down to the engine room to eject the core they, <laughs> had, like, they had the eject lever when i played but it didn't do anything oh this time it actually does something you're like eject the core and you have a countdown timer like to critical uh critical and it's just like okay wait for it wait for it eject it now and then like you actually, they had a at least at the time they had an animation where you see the court actually eject out of the ship and float away and explode. That's great. I was just like, oh, that looks so. What pretty. I'm waiting for though is, it got pushed back, but its pushback date date is finally getting close. Uh-huh. Star Trek Bridge Crew. Oh, so goddamn close. May thirtieth. May thirtieth. May thirtieth. It so, was like February, and then it got pushed back, and I was like, "God damn it!" So <laughs> I know it was March. So you, so is it the same premise? Like you have a crew, like you have your science engineer, your pilot, your yep. pilot. Except uh, you're on the Enterprise and you're Star Trek. Uh, it's like, Star Trek. and All it's right. made by Ubisoft, and it's you know big budget instead of its early oh, access. Oh yes, and that that'll that'll go well. So yeah. it's, that you're like. <laughs> All right, uh, number one, engage. It just <laughs> early so, reviews are good for it. People uh, are, people are uh, enjoying it a lot. That's that sounds good. I yeah. hope so. I really hope so. <laughs> and and I cannot wait to fucking get into that game and play Star Trek. It's <laughs> can you stop? I, it's under my foot. It may be VR only. I'm not sure actually uh, though. That's gonna be. I well, mean, you can buy it from the Ubisoft things, or I don't know if it's. Uh, developed specifically for VR. Oh my god! I don't know if it's VR only though. Yeah. Requires a virtual virtual reality headset. Yes, it is VR only. So how are you? So you're gonna literally have five people standing around with heads. Oh god! That's, sitting around. Well, sitting. True. No, standing only. <laughs> Exercise. Oh, well, like think about if. Oh god, that that's it's gonna bring a whole cheers. new meaning to like if you want to do land parties or. Shit I mean, it's not really made for a local multiplayer. <laughs> no, but still, like you have to first of all have five fr- five other friends or four other friends. It is who, matchmaking. You don't have to have five friends with <laughs> VR. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think I'd want to trust five p- other random strangers. Like, all right, who's the captain? You're the captain? I'm the captain now. Well, the- <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, there's going to be a freaking mutiny at some point. One of the great things with VR is that such a, since it has such a high entry level cost, the people playing it are more serious. True. Like, you don't have the 12 year old that, you know, got a <sighs> got an Xbox I mean, for Christmas and is playing Call of Duty. You, It's, it's usually older people that are playing it. You know, and are more more serious about it. Yeah, like, that, that's, there, there are people that. to fuck around, but in a lot of those games, cooperative games, they actually work really well. Uh, I want to hope that. I really want to hope that. I have a feeling. That I'm just saying that from experience. Right, but I, I'm just games. assuming. I have a feeling I will get connected to the one server that has a 12 year old on a VR headset, and. <laughs> 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 Jesse, the staple gun at first in that room like scared the living shit out of me when he shot it off. I was like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, so uh, we will soon be in a more controlled audio environment. Hopefully. Next week. Monday. I thought oh, it was going to be this man. week, but apparently they canceled on us and rescheduled it for Monday. So it's oh, like, man. fuck. Me. 
<sighs> what is that? It's a staple staple gun. gun. Oh, okay. It's a wood, it's a My flooring bad. staple gun that we're that he's using to staple the floor down. Because we're putting in a bamboo floor, we're gonna get cabinets installed Monday, and we're gonna have fun. And we better have like updates on the channel, like update number one: we just finished our flooring. Update number two: counters. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I should have been taking pictures to be honest of the progress. No but video, video only. You don't want video. You don't want me yelling at my dad constantly of like, put this on, put this on right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Should just sort of like mount a camera in the corner of the room and put power to it, and then just like had to do a time lapse for like a month. Half of it is just him screaming at dad like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, you just oh, like, trust me. Fuck. We've made we've made mistakes in that floor where I had to rip out the staple because it d didn't go in right. I yeah. would love to see that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's annoying. Um, oh man. Yeah. Uh, recent games that came out this week. Um, I know Prey came out this yeah. Friday, which is a... Is that normal for most games now to come out Friday? I think it's moving to Fridays. Is it moving to Fridays? Yeah. Is, it just, is it just so that people like... People, well, normal adults and kids can finally enjoy <laughs> take the weekend to enjoy their games? Tuesdays yeah. are a remnant from... The midnight a releases. while ago. Well, it, it was from... Uh, book For bookkeeping reasons. From a long time ago, and oh, for yes, like, yes, yes, I know. Uh, for sales figures, for tabulating them, for you know, the top selling games of, and the same reason for music and uh, other stuff and right. DVDs Jesus. and stuff like that. But those have been moving to Fridays as well, like music and DVDs are now released mostly on Fridays as well. Huh, okay. Um, and games have been slowly sometimes popping over, and hopefully soon they'll be all on Fridays. Right. Yeah. Uh, um. And yeah, like was just... in Europe, it's fr yeah. the Friday is the release as well. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to look up when did the other, the Al Alice two came out this week too, huh? Right, if I remember I last week. I think last week. Oh, was it last week? Yeah. Oh well, it's had uh, oh. mixed but it... generally positive reviews. Can Dude, you... it's so scary. A lot of the reviews were like, at least the uninstall button works. <laughs> they're like, could you finish it? Are you serious? Yeah, there was like a whole bunch of people on like Steam. They're like couldn't finish it cried too hard there was actually i remember seeing an article i don't know by who i think it was either gamestop or somebody or GameSpot or somebody <laughs> GameStop. Uh, yeah gamestop publishing the new, the new uh... uh no that's it like they said that it was the quote from the developer for outlast 2 was like or no sorry it was for prey like because a lot of people also bagging on prey like they did not like prey and they were using the um the steam refund system to yeah. like refund their money for the playing Prey, even though like within the fir the demo w is the first hour apparently on console wise. Yeah, that that really pissed me off. Like, the Steam refund system is not a replacement for having a demo on on PC. Yeah, that's that's fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean every every game is gonna have some people that you know that don't refund like it. it. Yeah, but I mean the, from the people that I trust, they've been having a great time with Prey. And I I'm like excited it. to play. I like it. I really want to play it. Especially it looks some, really good. Yeah, <laughs> especially like some of the game. levels where you actually have to like float and go towards like an objective. Or like shit, I have to go through all this debris in space to try to get that one piece. God damn it. Um. Yeah, but no. Like back to Outlast Two. Outlast. <laughs> I. I've. I. A lot of people I've seen st who stream like I've been streaming Outlast Two because it recently came out. So I'm like, oh, I am going to get that at some point, probably soon. That and pray. I need to get pray because I want pray really. I've been bad. watching the gameplay. I'm too. I'm too chicken shit, man. To <laughs> play it. Outlast Two. Oh. Outlast Two. I, I have. Al I have Outlast One and the Whistleblower DLC on my PC. Whistleblower is great. I. I love the Whistleblower DLC. Really I can't one. get past the one part in the beginning of Outlast where you're stuck. You have to like open two valves, but you can't. You the big dude's trying to chase you, and you have your camcorder as your only means of seeing in the dark. Oh my God, when you're in the sewers. Yeah, and it's that's just like, like my nightmare. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and the dude is not a pretty face i'm just like oh god oh, why <laughs> yeah that that's the stuff of nightmares have that, you guys seen any gameplay of little nightmare oh, oh well, little nightmares it looks isn't i haven't it, seen any gameplay but i've heard good things from it, i've heard I good like. things as well um arby's did a freaking uh, <laughs> thing for it um i love arby's and wendy wendy's oh getting so god. into the <laughs> when oh my god the fucking wendy's memes my god <laughs> Did do any of you know this? KFC has a novella that's available for sale on Amazon. 
<laughs> I am not Tell shitting. I America. America. <laughs> I am not kidding you. It is like, uh, what is it called? A novella. I. It's a. It's one of those. Uh, a novel. Yeah, wing tender <laughs> tender wings of desire. It is a romantic is it novel. Erotic? I don't it's know. For free. It's How do you get cast in that when it's a movie? I want to be in that. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I am not kidding. It is a book. It is a book, and it's even authored by Colonel Sanders, and it's got a four star rating on Amazon. But what happens when she can't realize, or when she realizes she can't control how she feels? <laughs> she loves chicken more than the man. <laughs> <laughs> a handsome like sailor with a mysterious past. Like it's. A friend of mine shared on Facebook, I thought it was a fake, and then somebody else said, this is actually a real thing. How is this available on Amazon? My favorite thing is the mom purse she has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fact that it's a, like, standard, uh, probably 40-something mother um, in the book being held by a sh- sleeveless Colonel Sanders. <laughs> That's like, fantastic. Sweet, sweet, tender wings of desire. I, I didn't need this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is all spawning from freaking the whole Wendy's like bagging on every other company. Like I am surprised. I think that at this point, whoever was it, went, Wendy's that did the diva employee, or is that Arby's? Yes, Wendy's. No, Wendy's. Oh no, 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 Arby's. Arby's did the diva okay. employee, <laughs> and um, the voice actress Charlotte Chung saw like was shown that, and she's just like, "What the hell?" and was laughing about it. Like it's how, amazing. Is it? Th- this is going to be the next Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, uh, it will. Dear God. <laughs> it will it, spawn a series and will get become a... It's probably already up there. <laughs> Down. It's so become a movie. St- it's so stupid. It's so weird and retarded. And It's a live yeah. action play in the year. So Diva Arby's <laughs> with Mountain Dew Livewire and her name tag actually says Hana, which is Hana Song, her yeah. actual character name. And I'm just going like, <laughs> my God, what in the hell? Like even you even have like you know the switch. I you think ha- that was adorable. You have freaking. Uh, you have. <laughs> this makes for a great audio. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Looking at pictures on a laptop. <laughs> yeah, it's look. <laughs> it's the deep. The, like Arby's is going off like crazy on the comics, the games, whatever is relevant in current media. Wendy is, is just shitting on everybody else. <laughs> Surprised they haven't even gotten after Arby's. I'm probably sh- thinking like Arby's is like, we didn't do anything to insult you. It's like, all right, you're safe for now. <laughs> Truce. Have, Truce. It's like you have your you have your uh, internet your internet stuff. So it's like, all right, cool. Yeah. And then Arby's found their niche. Wendy's found their niche. Yeah. Wendy's literally just started ra- ragging on everybody, and then all of a sudden you get these Wendy's memes, and there are some nasty ones I saw. <laughs> Jesus. Have you seen that everyone's drawing Wendy's as fucking anime? Yeah, I did That's, see that. And then they just make it into hentai, and you're like, God, why? Uh, no, oh God, now why? now there's cosplayers doing the Wendy's girl. A s- I'll give you some secret sauce. <laughs> <sighs> no, there, there there are there are some things that I saw like of like how do you like the clown? And, like the clown. Or like or Colonel Sanders and some really disturbing stuff and it's just like oh or the or oh no, there was one where it was the hamburger tied to a table, I think, if I remember right. And Wendy's is just like standing over like an interrogator and I'm just going, Oh mother of God. Oh, man. Like how I mean, I love, like, I hate memes sometimes, but these things are just, like, laughing my ass off or, like, oh, my God, why is this even on the internet now? So, it's just so, yeah, there's so much stupid, (laughs) stupid, stupid things. Now, I want a chicken corn blue sandwich. (laughs) I kind of now want some chicken. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'm apparently very susceptible to that because last night when I was doing D&D, we uh, were talking that one of the places was called the Pudding Court. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh, now I want pudding. I really and want pudding. when we finished the session, I had to go to Safeway and get some pudding. <laughs> <laughs> so I now have a bunch of pudding on my desk. <laughs> hey, don't no I'll, regrets. And I'll make sure I have some left by next week when we revisit the pudding court and I have to <laughs> take like, a break from D&D to eat some pudding. It's like, all right, you got you guys you guys do whatever you almost yourself. I'm going to eat my pudding right now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> that is so stupid. They're all talking all I hear. Is <laughs> yeah, all you hear on the mic is like 
while the, while they make their plans, I'll just be eating pudding. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, you're ready? Okay, hang on, let me finish my cup right now. Oh, you decide what do you want to do? Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, and uh, okay, like, now right, you're you're done talking about the put. You're done being in the pudding garden. <laughs> Uh, really, you have to type rule 34? No, I would never. How do you know that was me? That was me. Uh, let's see. Other let's stuff. Um, Arcade Hall of Famers. How's that? We got a few things. We have... Uh, Donkey Kong, Halo, Pokemon Red and Green, Street Fighter 2. All very fantastic games. Yeah, except Halo's like more recent than Donkey Kong, Pokemon, Red and Green, and Street Fighter. It's I mean, still. I mean, Street Fighter, I think, is the oldest on that entire list. Because Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong is the oldest. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, Street Fighter 2 came out. Donkey Kong is way oh, old. No. When did Street Wasn't Fighter... it red and blue, and then green was like the one that came later on? Uh, Well, no, in Japan, it's re it was red and green. Oh. No, oh, if you learned something new. In Japan, it was Culture. red and green, <laughs> and then um, later on, we did get green here, like in uh, Street Fighter 2 came out in 1991. 1991? Yep. Donkey Kong was 1981. Are we talking about, the, oh, we're talking about the arcade version, like that- Talking about Donkey Kong. That's what it was called, Donkey Kong. Oh, with Super Jumpman? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it, that's what it was called, right? That's what Mario was? I don't remember exactly. Um... I oh yeah 1981? you're right 1981 yeah I think it, it's like I know I'm right I know my Donkey Kong Donkey Kong is yeah it's like Donkey Kong's definitely older okay fine Donkey Kong is the oldest and then technically you have Street Fighter and then oh, you have Pokemon yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you have like Halo which is like the newest one which was back in uh, early 2000s I don't know why it took so long for Donkey Kong to get on there yeah I don't know maybe just people had better ideas like oh no let's put um yakuza or some <laughs> other weird shit game that probably people have barely played and put that on there god only knows at this point so salty <laughs> i don't know i'm just that's... tenchi shadow assassin <laughs> okay i don't even know that there's some game titles i don't even know and i'm just like um okay that's a game i might want to play for okay. yakuza it's actually pretty good this one yakuza I do want to play Yakuza, Yakuza. Zero. Yeah, I do one. want to play that. That looks like a really fun game. Been um, listening to all that Easy Allies podcast, and, <laughs> and they've been talking it up. Um, yeah. Oh, so because so recently we had uh, pretty much our Star Wars day. Um, until tomorrow, at ten a.m. Almost uh, every single Star Wars game, which people won't care about because this <laughs> this is after that. Yeah. But I pick, I finally picked up Knights of the Old Republic one and two. Nice. I'm, like, I'm kicking myself for not buying the bundle the first day when it was glitched. Um, I didn't even know it was glitched. I was... It was it was in my it was in my cart, and then I got distracted with something else and didn't buy it. Oh. And then the next day it was. It went back to its like sixty six dollar yeah. deal. It was... So it's yeah, it's like sixty bucks or so. But on the first day of the bundle, it was eighteen dollars. Right. Yeah. I like, I, oh. I looked at that. I'm like, I'm probably not gonna like Knights of the Old Republic one and two. I want to play because of all the stuff I've been watching. Yeah. So it's like you know what? I'll probably I'll most likely play these two games because those are like games that I will sit down for a couple hours and you know bust out a couple of quests. Um, otherwise, like those are long games. Yeah, but otherwise, those are long games. So is Fallout. I have not even gotten close to being the story because I'm like, ooh, what's over here? Ooh, what's over there? That's that's how stupidly dumb I pay attention to things. So, um, yeah. Uh, I <laughs> I'm out of ideas. What do you you got anything? I mean, that service laptop came out. It's not. It's not really great for gaming, um, but it, it looks pretty cool. I have yet to see a Surface laptop device that actually is decent to game on. Like, I mean, this book's fine. Yeah, I, this they got a decent GPU in it. The next when they redo it this year was probably coming in a couple weeks. Uh, or no, the event is later this week, I think. Uh huh. And uh, they're gonna really probably probably announce the new Surface and Surface Book. Um, mm. we'll probably have a decent GPU in it. Yeah, there's one I think window like, I think it's yeah it's a Windows tablet, but it's not made by Microsoft. It's made by some other some other company that actually has like a 1060 GPU in it. But it stupid. It is stupid because it came with like a mini the mini HDMI thing that you can pro put it onto a TV yeah. and play off of that. It's it's 
really buggy because of the fact that the data that has to come through that little cable to your TV and be able to play off of all that information, it's just, it's okay. It's not great. It's a little choppy at time, random times. Um, yeah, I, I mean, but then again, tablets are meant to be uh, portable. They're not meant to be like gaming devices. They're mo more meant to be like a, um, <laughs> they're more meant to be a um, utility, yeah. more or less. I mean, I love my service. It's great for what I use it for. Uh, the new service laptop is just a bit overpriced, in my opinion. Is that the one with like the more solid keyboard that you can detach I mean, it? It's a laptop. The service laptop is a laptop. Could you detach it, though? No, the service laptop is a laptop. <laughs> it's new. It was released <laughs> or announced a week ago. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's it's basically a competitor to the MacBook, the low end MacBook, but it's only got one USB port on it. Oh, oh, that's that's fun. Yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah. Hopefully, we get some good high end stuff this week. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yes, uh, we should end. Yeah. Now that the technical difficulties will be coming up more and more often. <laughs> yeah. Now, now we're gonna. I need to finish the floor tonight before I go to bed. So. Yeah. All cool. right. Um, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe. Give us a like. Hit those buttons. will be coming up soon. Yeah, eventually. And uh, <laughs> have we'll a good see, night. We'll see, see you next, next week. week. Bye bye.